Hi everyone, it's Jordan from Beagle Rampant Productions, and today we're going to be taking a little church tour of the oldest church in Cincinnati. This is Old St. Mary's Church, built in 1841, and it's also among the oldest churches in the state of Ohio. So we're going to be looking at some of the architecture and artwork in this wonderful old church here in Cincinnati. Old St. Mary's is located in the Over the Rhine neighborhood, so parking can be a bit of a challenge. They have this small little parking lot to the side of the church with a very nice painting of the Virgin Mary on the side of the building there, but if you needed a good parking space for Mass at Old St. Mary's, I would recommend arriving a little bit early just to make sure you aren't going to be going around and around trying to find a good place to park there. In the back alley of the church, they have this nice little space that they sometimes use for outreach ministries and for special events after Mass. I'm not sure what exactly we're looking at here, what was going on after Mass on this particular recording, but I hope it was a success. Once you enter the church vestibule, you have these beautiful stained glass windows and a restroom if you need to use the restroom before Mass begins. And now, once we enter the main worship space, we can see that Old St. Mary's is a bit eclectic in terms of its architectural styles. We have the Greek Revivalist style a little bit there with the nice ornate ceilings, and we also have some Romanesque influence with the kind of rounded arches near the windows, and I really love the stained glass windows here at Old St. Mary's. They're maybe not as ornate as what you see in maybe St. Boniface or the Cathedral, but they're still very nice. And along the sides of the church, up at the top there, we have uh, paintings of some of the various saints. So a very nice uh, blend of all sorts of different architectural styles and themes going on at Old St. Mary's. And we call the church Old St. Mary's to differentiate that from St. Mary's Church in Hyde Park, which I think was built in the early 20th century. And right here we have the main altar space at Old St. Mary's Church. And you may have noticed that the altar is kind of right up against the wall, which is kind of different from some of the other altars I've shown in my church tours. So this kind of gives almost a throwback to the old Vatican I days, which I absolutely do not remember, where the priest's back will be turned to the congregation during the liturgy of the Eucharist when he's blessing the bread and wine for the Holy Communion. And we have over here on the sides of the altar, I believe this is the left-hand side of the altar, and this over here is the right-hand side of the altar. We have just beautiful artwork everywhere inside Old St. Mary's Church. This right here is on the left-hand side. I think this is a depiction of the Virgin Mary with the Christ child when Christ was a young boy. I am not entirely certain, but I think that's what we're looking at. And of course we have Christ in heaven with the Virgin Mary. And over here is kind of the old school uh, lectern. So we have Jesus, we have Moses on the other side there. We have St. Peter, and I'm not certain who this figure is. I'm going to throw my money at either Abraham or Elijah, but if somebody knows better than me, please um, correct me in the comments there. Mostly for Mass, though, they go ahead and they use this lectern here for all of the readings. Old St. Mary's has a couple of different Masses. They have a Latin Mass, an English Mass, and a German Mass. And this particular recording you see here is after the German Mass at 11.30 on Sunday. And uh, I'm sixth generation German, so I don't really speak German, but the sermon is in English. All of the readings are in German, but they give you little brochures so you can go ahead and follow along easily enough. I believe this figure holding the candelabra might be the Christ child, a depiction of the Christ child, but again, I'm not entirely certain. Over here, we have a very nice and ornate baptismal font. That looks really nice. I just love the kind of cast iron feel with it. And over here is a nice little shrine. We're on the right-hand side of the altar. If you're facing the altar, all of this is on the right-hand side. But over here, we have a shrine filled with relics of the saints, and it's everything. They have so many saints here and so many different things from the various saints. Uh, there's so much to look at here and so much to venerate, and 
have a nice spiritual and reflective moment here. This is, and I think this is a relic of the true cross uh, that was kind of in the center of everything. So just look at it. It's everything. So, so many relics of all of the different saints. And of course, the sanctuary light, meaning that God's presence is eternally with us. And here, of course, we have the Stations of the Cross showing Jesus' road to the crucifixion. And you gotta love the ornate wood carvings here with the Stations of the Cross. And as I mentioned before in some of my other church tours, the, it goes all around the church uninterrupted. And of course, you have to have fans in churches like Old St. Mary's. It tends to get really stuffy in some of the older churches. And... Old St. Mary's has tons of shrines to the Virgin Mary, and of course, the prayer candle. You light the candle, and your prayer is continuing as you go through the rest of your day. This saint right here is uh, Philip Neri. He was an Italian saint who lived in the 1500s, and he is famous for, on the night before Pentecost, a tongue of fire appeared and he ingested it and his heart grew and it caused him no pain. So that was one of his uh, more special miracles there. And right here we have a depiction of uh, the Lady of Fatima in 1917. The Virgin Mary appeared to three shepherd children in Fatima, Portugal. So we have a little depiction there. And of course, more depictions of the Stations of the Cross. This is Jesus being laid inside of the tomb. So now we should be back on the other side of the church on the left-hand side here. Another depiction of the Virgin Mary. And of course, you have your prayer candles. And this uh, lovely uh, crucifix here, beautifully or ornately carved. And here we have, this is the Virgin Mary, the Mother of Mercy. She's not preaching to the souls in hell. She is actually preaching to the souls going through the purifying fire of purgatory. And over here we have one of the confessionals. This was not the confessional they were using after the German Mass, but the confession is a very important sacrament in Catholicism. It's a good way to get your penance uh, to God. And... This is a depiction of the Annunciation, and I love the particular detail done with the background for this carving. This is a very nice carving with a, a extra detail done to the background. This, of course, is St. Francis of Assisi, who invented the idea of uh, having nativity scenes at Christmas time as a way to further explain the story of Christ. And he's kind of back right at the entrance of the church, kind of near the vestibule there. And on the other side of St. Francis, we have uh, the Mary, the mother of sorrows, as she is uh, holding uh, the body of Christ. And this right here is the confessional that they were using, and that's why I'm not tilting down. And that's pretty much it for the church tour at Old St. Mary's. Architecturally and artistically, Old St. Mary's has a lot to offer the faithful of the Cincinnati area. And... Right here we have the very nice organ. It makes a, it has a beautiful sound and the organist, he was killing it today. He was doing a wonderful job. So thank you guys so much for watching and for sharing this little tour with me. I'm Jordan Rolfes from Beagle Rampant Productions. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. May God bless and keep you guys. You know you're the best fans of any YouTuber on the planet. May the Lord bless you and protect you and keep you. Pray for me and I will certainly be praying for you guys. Bye!